Social media, shopping, banking, emails, smartphones hold so much of our daily lives. And that's exactly what makes them a prime target for hackers. So today I'll show you how to tell if your phone is hacked and which cybersecurity tools can prevent this from happening again. Diving right in, how to check if your phone was hacked or not. Have you suddenly been seeing strange or inappropriate pop-ups on your device? Or maybe unfamiliar calls or texts, or even social media activity? All of these can be clues that someone else has gained access to your device. Higher than normal data usage is also a warning sign, which generally goes hand in hand with your battery draining unusually fast. Other signs that your phone has been hacked include finding unrecognized apps, feeling that your phone gets hot when it shouldn't, seeing weird calendar events, and particularly seeing all kinds of phishing spam all of a sudden. Once you've confirmed that your device has been compromised, you might be asking yourself, why is my phone hacked? Is it because of something I did? Well, this generally occurs due to accidentally downloading malicious apps or files, clicking on suspicious links, or using unsecured public Wi-Fi networks. So you've unfortunately answered the question, am I being hacked in the affirmative? Bummer. What do you do now? The first step is to immediately delete any apps that aren't on your device by default, or if they just look suspicious. And then after this tutorial, you can re-download them, making sure they're from an official source. The next step is to use an antivirus, which can check every corner of your device for any sneaky malware or threats that could still be lurking there. The majority of antiviruses have multiple scanning options available, but I always recommend going for the full scan, as it does the most thorough job. A quick side note, if you need antivirus recommendations, I'll leave links to our tested options in the description, or you can just scan this QR code. Now, once you've removed all malware, a final step to protecting your phone from hackers in the future is to change all your passwords for good measure but especially your iCloud and Gmail. All right, we've covered how to know if your phone is hacked and how to protect phone from hackers, but what can be done to prevent this from happening again? My first suggestion is to get yourself a reliable antivirus. Any top provider on the market is gonna keep your device safe and prevent you from accidentally accessing malicious sites or downloading malware in the future. My second recommendation is to use a VPN, especially if you're using public Wi-Fi. A reputable VPN provider like NordVPN encrypts your connection, putting it inside a protective bubble so no one from the outside can snoop on your information. Furthermore, a threat protection feature blocks ads and malicious websites so you can have peace of mind while browsing. Phew. Now, you've been through a lot, but just because your phone got hacked doesn't mean your wallet should too. So to help out, I've left some of the biggest discounts I could find for top-of-the-line antivirus and VPN tools. In addition to my phone hacking checks, here are a few quick tips to help you cultivate the best cybersecurity hygiene. The more outdated your phone software is, the more vulnerable to attacks it is. So be sure to always install the latest updates. Also, Avoid storing sensitive data, like credit card information or passwords, directly on your phone. If you're looking for a secure alternative, then a password manager is the perfect solution as it lets you store data in encrypted vaults that only you have access to. And lastly, avoid installing any unverified apps or clicking on random links that could potentially lead to phone tapping. APK files should never be downloaded from any other website outside of the Google Play or App Store. If you've ever been hacked, let me know in the comments. What was your scariest experience and what steps did you take to keep your phone safe? Thanks so much for watching and don't forget about the exclusive antivirus discounts I've left on screen. And if you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to join our cyber news community. Thanks and see you in the next video.